they're probably like, oh, he's gonna go enjoy his Valentine's Day treats by himself in the parking lot. Yes, I am, okay? Also, none of my opinions are affiliated with Starbucks company or Starbucks in general. This is my own personal opinions uh, for me, myself, and I. So, I think I had to clarify that. I don't know. What is up guys? Good morning. It is 1020. A little bit late. Little little late start to the day. <laughs> I woke up at 8 o'clock today because I was like, you know what? I've planned this YouTube video for a couple days now. I was like really excited about it. Um, um, and we had a snowstorm last night. So I'm risking my life to get coffee and donuts. Nothing out of the ordinary. I will add that in. Um, except for today, I'm filming a special YouTube video that I'm very excited about. I watch these all the time on YouTube. And I've always wanted to film one, but I never have. So, the time is now. The time is now. <laughs> Especially with Valentine's Day tomorrow. Today's the 13th, by the way, so. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Another year alone. Another year living my best and worst life, I guess. No, we've been going through it. The, this, yeah, we've been going through it this year. Um, nothing new, nothing fresh. Nothing has changed. Same old stuff. So, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy myself, treat myself today, be thankful for myself and my family and friends that I don't have either. So, yeah, we're just living our best life. Anyways, I'm on my way to Dunkin' Donuts right now. Never, ever, ever have I ever gone out of my way to get Dunkin' Donuts instead of Starbucks. If you guys didn't know already, I am a Starbucks barista. Um, let me grab my apron so I don't... The proof is in the pudding, baby girl. The proof is in the pudding. So that's my place of employment. <sighs> you know what? At least they salted the roads today because it could be way worse, but at least they salted the roads. Oh my God, this was not correct of me to do. <laughs> Pulling out in front of people, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I'm in that episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians where they're on vacation and Chloe's driving. Not my fault, not my fault! I need Chloe, Chloe, it's not my fault, not my fault! Oh my god, oh my god, I don't have my sleepwalk! I haven't had coffee yet today, so don't judge me for my memory and my lack of energy. I feel like I'm doing pretty good on energy, man. We're pumped up. I will drive out of my way for Dunkin' Donuts actual donuts because they know how to rock a donut. They know how to do a donut. Their iced lattes and coffee. Eh, Starbucks takes a win on that. I feel like I have, no. I know I have really good taste in coffee. Like, I know what a good latte is. I know what a good cold brew is. Which, by the way, let's talk a little bit about my coffee taste. Of course, I started off like most of everyone. I was having like caramel frappuccinos, <laughs> java chip frappuccinos in like middle school and eighth grade. Um, and I forget when I transitioned. It was probably around like freshman year when I just started getting iced coffee with vanilla. Um, and that was actually my go-to drink up until like senior year. And I also would get iced vanilla lattes. So I would do iced vanilla lattes and iced coffee with like vanilla sweet cream and like half and half. Oh, I passed my girl. <sighs> All right. Yeah, see, this is why I can't be a distracted driver. I'm trying to talk, I will crash my car. <laughs> Which I still owe money on, so we're not gonna crash that today. I really don't like sugary drinks anymore. My go-to drink currently is just black cold brew. I don't know how I got to that point. Um, but yeah, I got, I get black cold brew and iced almond milk lattes. So I no longer drink dairy, you know what I mean? Oh no, there is not a person here right now. <laughs> it's gonna park right here by the dumpster while I get a little chat in with you guys. So yeah, um, I no longer drink dairy like voluntarily. It's done wonders for my skin compared to what it was a year ago. So, we're no longer on the cow juice. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. It's literally so bad for me and my skin. So, I drink almond milk. I used to drink coconut milk, but now I just do almond milk because she's the superior. Today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be trying out the Valentine's Day 
like drink specials they have going on. And their donuts. Um, I'm obviously, wow, they're going all out. Look at Duncan's page right now for Valentine's Day. Um, let's go to Starbucks page. Man, they're pretty lacking. They only have one Valentine's Day post. I don't know, man. Of course they have the refreshers, the dragon drinks, pink drink, and violet drink. You know what? Stop ordering those. Come up with something different, okay? I'm sick of making those. Anyways, their new pink velvet macchiato and signature latte with delicious red velvet cake flavors. All right, y'all. Let's go and see what I can get started for us. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. Hi, um, can I do a small iced pink velvet macchiato? Um, can I do that with almond milk? Yeah, of course. Um, and then can I do... Sorry. Just one of the Valentine's Day donuts. That's gonna be it. Thank you so much. See, that's how you do it, okay? People are so rude, especially through Starbucks drive throughs Like, you better not. <laughs> Keep your window down, off your cell phone, no phone calls. Hello, Hi. For you. Thank you. Oh, it smells good. I'm an addict. Here you are. Thank you, you so much. Cool. Let's just see. Oh, there goes my wallet. Uh, uh, uh. Did you know at Starbucks, we're not allowed to close the drive through window? And I probably shouldn't say that. Yeah. But. There you go. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. She pink pink or whatever, baby. They're probably like, oh, he's gonna go enjoy his Valentine's Day treats by himself in the parking lot. Yes, I am, okay? All right, so here she is. We have to get the thumbnail before the macchiato collapses, okay? Behind, so it looks like I have a straw in, but I don't actually. <laughs> I'm a king. All right, I think we got it. And then let me get a picture for my socials. Man, it's so much work posting stuff on social media. I'm like, I just want to try my drink and my donut. But I have to let them know. All right, here we go, here we go. That is very good, that is very good. Mmm, they have good almond milk too. It's definitely on the sweeter side. Um. So I'm gonna stir in some, <laughs> stir in my espresso on top. Oh wow, y'all this is very good, very good. With the espresso, I haven't had an iced caramel macchiato in a while, just cause I don't drink like the sugary drinks anymore. Um, but this, this, they popped off. I think there is caramel drizzle on here. I can see the residue on the top of the lid, but. Yeah. If you like coffee and you're looking for something sweet on Valentine's Day, this is your drink, okay? Um, Starbucks didn't do anything for Valentine's Day. We have no, I mean we have like a pink drink, but you hosts get that every single day of the year, so. And their espresso is actually really good. I'm usually pretty particular. Why did it stop filming? I couldn't tell you. Anyways, I'm usually rather pretty particular about my espresso, my coffee, so. I'm impressed, Duncan. I am impressed. I have heard bad things about their cold brew. Um. I'm just so in love with Starbucks's cold brew and like other coffee shops, you know? Like Starbucks cold brew is good if you're on the run. Um, something quick, like it is good quality cold brew and I know that because I make it myself. <laughs> and I know where like they get all their coffee beans and everything. Like Starbucks, 
I think Starbucks is actually like underrated for their quality of coffee and what they do as a company for like other people. Like behind the scenes, they actually pay for a lot of things and they have some coffees that are like fair trade, I found out from one of my coworkers, which means some type of business, but they're actually a really good business and by buying their drinks, you are helping like other people in the world. So I don't know about Duncan and their story, but I know they have some bomb espresso apparently. Now, my guilty pleasure, sweeties, my guilty pleasure. We have a donut. Let's see which one they gave me. Now, I did watch Steph Papas um, do her version of this, um, and I did clarify that I, obviously I watch her and everyone else who does like car eating shows and mukbangs. But yeah, she got the brownie batter donut. So I don't really know which one this is. There's no like sticker. I just asked for a Valentine's Day donut because there was like, <laughs> I'm not familiar with you know, their brands. So anyways, I know it's gonna be bomb, but let's just do it anyways. Wow. Guys and gals, this donut is bomb.com. Bomb.com. Shoot! I'll be making a mess inside my car. Anyways. You know, sweet and sweet is like, a, not my kind of mixture, but Loki, like sprinkle donuts are like my favorite. <laughs> it makes me feel like a child every time I eat one. And I also like sour cream. Sour cream donuts are underrated. Don't even start with me. As are classic glazed, but. Now child, I know. I also feel like the almond milk balances out the sweetness because almond milk can kind of be like a nutty bitter flavor almost. So, instead of having like regular milk in here, almond milk. Almond milk! <laughs> now I'm gonna go to Starbucks and edit this video. <laughs> and get my cold brew so I can be high on caffeine. We don't get high on drugs on this channel, we get high on caffeine. If you are looking for a Valentine's Day themed treat, like you're just trying to treat yourself, enjoy something chocolatey, yummy. I really do, that was a stop sign, we don't stop in this car either. I really do recommend this. At least to start your day off, you know? Like what a good morning treat, like a coffee and a donut. And then for lunch you can get like hibachi or sushi or something, or that for dinner. You know, it's just, it's treat yourself hours. Treat, treat yourself a day, okay? If you ain't got a significant other like me, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta enjoy your time. Enjoy yourself, you know? <laughs> so yeah, guys, that is all for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. You know, this year I'm trying to be more creative and make more videos, so that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.